For lawyers, time is limited. What if you could expand time by changing your relationship to it? Welcome to the new Billable Hour podcast, transforming the way you think about time in your law practice and life. And now, here's your host, lawyer and best-selling author, Ritu Goswami. Welcome to episode 16 of the new Billable Hour podcast. Today's topic is timing is everything. First, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this episode. Smith AI, based in Palo Alto, California, is a virtual receptionist and website chat company serving small businesses, most of which are solo and small law firms. Their friendly professional receptionists answer your calls, chats, and text messages, as well as screen and intake clients, book appointments, and take payments. Use the code RITU, R-I-T-U 100, for $100 off your first month. Smith AI can be reached at smith.ai on the internet or 650-727-6484. So let's get started with three breaths together. Exhale everything and take a deep inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Very nice, welcome. Timing is everything. We know this um, as it comes up often in our life arc right? Meeting that special someone when you least expected it, having your dream job fall into your lap, running into someone you haven't seen in a long time and reconnecting. And and we also see it in that perfect client relationship, right? The timing was just right for that client to find you for when what they needed and for you to help them. Maybe a business opportunity pops up just right when you needed that, right when you were thinking about it. Um, or that coach or consultant came along right when you needed help and support. So generally what we need most will appear to us at the right time. And when the time is not right, we know that things may not work out. Things may seem more tense, more effort is put in and results are not there. Uh, Things are just more uh, attenuated, right? Things are not really working. So even though we know this and have experienced it, probably often, we forget about it uh, and we try to push our agenda at the wrong time. We forget that we know deep down um, what feels right, what the right time is, but we still push it. We push it. We try to push through something at the wrong time. So it's, so it's not that it's the wrong time, but we're ignoring, we're ignoring our our feeling of when is the right time. So by focusing on what's right, I call this intuition, we can save time in the long run and be more productive. So if something feels right, go for it. Actually, a better, a better advice is to be receptive. When things are right, they're just right. And so be receptive and let it, let it happen to you. Let it open up in a way that maybe you couldn't have even imagined, right? Let it be expansive. And if something does not feel right, pause, consider another path, um, slow down, which is what I talk about often. The, the stress we feel or the anxiety is that something is not right and we have to step away. This can come up in your case strategy, a client relationship, management decisions, big things and also really little things about what to do next in your day, how to prioritize, what's most important, how to answer an email, what to do when, when um, something didn't go how you thought it would, right? Timing is everything and you can get back in charge when you notice, when you take the time to notice and respect, respect that your intuition and your knowing of when timing is right is appropriate and when it's not right. 
And so when it is right, let it happen, relax, put in less effort, let more stuff happen. And when it's not right, notice it and, and get back in alignment. And that usually just means that we are distracted by something that's not right. We think we should be doing something that's coming at us or, or we're chasing after something. I suffer from this. We're chasing after something that we think we should be doing. We were taught that we we're supposed to do that. And then we're missing out on noticing what's right. A big reason why lawyers burn out is we're literally working against this idea of timing. And so it, it might seem vague, but a big part of time management, the, the lion's share uh, of time management is paying attention, paying attention to what we're doing with our time. And we've been trained to push harder when things don't work instead of stepping back. That's just the default. And we get rewarded for this. We pat each other on the back. Like, this is what it means to be a lawyer. This is what it means to be successful. Like when things get rough to kind of, to fight, to really get in there. And it's one model and it works for a while. It's just not sustainable in the long term. And if we can learn to step back, we can we can better see opportunities that have been there all along. You might have noticed this when you slow down, when you start to take stock of your life, you notice things that were there all the time, but um, you couldn't see them. You know, noticing things about your personal relationships, about your law firm, about yourself, good things usually, right? That we don't take the time and effort to notice because we're so busy chasing after things that are not the right time. So timing is everything. And if you don't take that step to notice, there may be another time, right? Sometimes we miss an opportunity, it comes back, and it might not. The choice is yours. So let's digest all of that with our three closing breaths together. Exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale. Great. Thank you again to the sponsor of this episode. Smith AI, based in Palo Alto, California, is a virtual receptionist and website chat company serving small businesses, most of which are solo and small law firms. Their friendly professional receptionists will answer your calls, chats, and text messages, as well as screen and intake clients, book appointments, and take up payments. Use the code RITU100 for $100 off your first month, and Smith AI can be reached at smith.ai or 650-727-6484. Thank you. Thank you for being with us on the new Billable Hour podcast with your host, Ritu Goswami. Subscribe to the podcast wherever you like to listen. To get your free copy of the new Billable Hour book and other resources, visit www.newbillablehour.com. You can contact Ritu directly at ritu at newbillablehour.com.